Lipids are high energy compounds. Fat provides the most energy per gram than the other macronutrients. As far as fat storage goes, dietary fat is the most efficient. Storing dietary fat requires less energy than fat created from excess dietary carbohydrate and protein. However, does that mean that fat is the cause of high rates of obesity? Let's define obesity as 20 to 30 percent above optimal weight. Traditional thinking says too many calories causes weight gain. Calories, which is energy, is important. However, what the body does with the source of energy is critical. This theory says that free feeding highly palatable foods and calorically dense foods paired with low activity causes weight gain. We already stated that fat is a terrific tool for building energy stores. How does this explain the obesity epidemic when most dogs are actually fed moderate to high carb diets? The average dog is overweight and is not consuming high or even moderate fat diets and also do not get enough exercise. A second theory of obesity is more controversial and resolves around the idea that obesity is the result of hormonal imbalances. This theory makes sense when we consider that altered pets tend to put on weight easier. An example of this involves hormones, estrogen, and testosterone. In one experiment, although with rats, found that two groups of rats with their ovaries removed both became obese even though one group was allowed to free feed while the other maintained the restricted caloric intake. This may happen because removed ovaries resulted in increased amounts of lipids absorbed by fat cells. The restricted group did not eat to replace the absorbed fatty acids and as a result became sedentary to preserve fatty acids for energy. Briefly, energy status and insulin play a role. In low energy states, insulin directs glucose to the heart and muscle, whereas in high energy states, glucose is directed to adipose tissue. It's the combination of having more energy than needed and having carbohydrates available as an alternative energy source that ends up driving fat towards adipose tissue. Therefore, it is not insulin to blame for unwanted fat storage. Activity type, duration, and gut intolerance influences macronutrient needs. Sprint work will require carbs, while search and rescue will rely more on fat. However, carbs can be useful because it spares protein to do other functions besides providing energy. Typical house pets with low physical activity require different macronutrients. Most often, they have reduced activity, high caloric intake, and high carbohydrate intake. Therefore, increased exercise, reduced carb, moderate fat, and higher protein often help facilitate better body composition.